Jeff, we were asking you last week about uh, Kevin's perform uh, Kevin's recent play, and you said you've known him a long time, and, and none of this surprises you? That Does this change your stance at all and, and go up a notch with that, or is this, this routine for you? This routine? I mean, big-time players show up in big-time moments, and that's what he did. Um, he made big-time plays for us at the end of the game, and uh, he's the reason we won. Uh, he put us on his back, and he carried us throughout the whole game. So, you know, that's that's what he's been doing, and that's, you know, that's that's Kevin. That's the Kevin I know. Mike Andrews, ESPN. Kevin said that you were the one who came out and set the tone before he found his shot. At what point in your mind was it, okay, this is something I, I need to be contributing in this big of a way in order to keep us in the game when it was just you and Kevin that were scoring? Uh... I was just trying to be aggressive, um, you know, coming off the bench, I got to see how the flow of the game was, um, what was needed, um, just try to come in and bring energy and, um, you know, knock down some open shots. Uh, we missed a lot of easy shots in the in the first quarter, first half. Um, so, you know, I just try to do my part. And, uh, you know, Kev found me on a, on a lot of those plays. Um, a lot of eyes are going to be on him. So I just wanted to be aggressive um, on my shot. And they left me open. So I just, you know, I just shot it with confidence. Thanks, Jeff. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Jeff, can you kind of describe the emotion of this win, just considering coming from 17 down, not having Kyrie uh, James's situation today? Uh, I mean, it's big time, big time confidence booster. It shows that we can, you know, you know, bunker down on the defensive end when we need to, and uh, you know, make plays on the offensive end. Um, you know, everybody. Um, you know, the way we fought through the whole game, uh, we just stayed with it. Uh, we kept chipping away. We didn't allow their runs to, you know, um, you know, give us bad body language or, you know, um, you know, just put us in a bad mood. You know, we kept fighting, and that's what it's about. Um, you know, we showed a lot of character tonight. Jen Williams, Fox Five. Jeff, you guys outscored them 22 in the second half. What was said at halftime, or, or what adjustments were made that allowed you guys to be so successful in the second half of this game? Uh, nothing really changed. I think it was just a, a mindset. Um, I think we came out more aggressive on the defensive end. Uh, we made them put it on the floor. Uh, we made, got them off the three-point line, um, and it was one shot, and, you know, we got in transition, we got some looks, and it got us going. And uh, I think that was the difference. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Jeff. Um, you know, Kevin said that the general perception of him is usually that he's a scorer and usually a scorer only, but that he's a guy who prides himself on being able to do everything from score to assist, to <laughs> down, whatever it takes. Um, what, would you say that that was, I guess, maybe your perception or did you feel like at any point that Kevin was just a scorer and then he became somebody who was well-rounded in his game or has he always been this well-rounded and the focus is just on his scoring mostly? He's always been uh, well-rounded. I think people just notice the scoring because it makes it look easy. Um, you know, he's always been somebody who, you know, is, you know, makes the extra pass. Uh, he's a hooper. I mean, he, he plays basketball. He makes the right play. Um, you know, uh, his offensive skill set just overshadows everything he does because, you know, he can do pretty much everything on the court. So, um, you know, he's a well-rounded player, a guy who, who makes the right pass. Uh, he reads the game well, and, um, you know, he showcased that tonight. Marcus Thompson, The Athletic. Jeff, you have known KD for a long time. You were his, you're his OG for PG County. Is there any extra feeling, emotion, just watching him, you know, knowing what he's been through and having a moment like this? Facts, facts. Um, I mean, the injuries that, you know, he's been through uh, to come back, you know, even from the Achilles to, you know, the hamstring to, you know, get back in this position, um, the world is witnessing once again, you know, who the best player in the world is. And, you know, it's amazing to see. Um, he, he's a workhorse. Uh, he, he loves loves basketball. Uh, he works on his craft, and, you know, it shows. Uh, it shows. And it's amazing to be a part of. And, you know, being from the same area, I mean, you, it, you I can't put into words how I feel to, you know, watch somebody who, you know, come from the same neighborhood as you to watch them, you know, Go out, there, go out there on the court and, you know, be successful. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him, and I'm glad that, you know, he's back on that court and he's playing well, and uh, I'm a part of, the, you know, the success that he's having. Yeah, about the success that Jeff Green had tonight, most points off the bench 
and a postseason game for the Nets in their NBA franchise history. See Lucius Harris on the list. Timothy Lawal Cabarro, TLC. Karis Levert at 26 points in 2019. That game against Philadelphia. And again, Jeff Green.